Alrighty guys, welcome back to more Pokemon Red version. In the last episode, we defeated Agatha of the Elite Four, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on the final member. So, let's just switch our party around real quick, and we're just going to put Sapphire at the front, because it will... Actually, wait a minute, no we're not. We're going to put Cheesy at the front, and then we'll probably be using Sapphire the most in the uh, next battle. So, today, or earlier on today, or whatever time it was revealed that, I have no idea, but the English translation of the new Evolution was revealed, and it is known as uh, Silph uh, Silphion, or is it Silphion? Uh, it doesn't really matter how it's pronounced, well it does, kind of, but I think it's Silphion, and that's pretty cool. So, anyway, uh, that has nothing to do with what we're about to do, because that is a whole generation, a whole five generations away from what we're at. So, let's just talk to Lance. Ah, I heard about you, Sue. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trader. You know dragons are the mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and race, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your elite challenge ends with me, Stu. So, here we have the final member of the Elite Four. This is Lance, the user of Dragon Types. And Lance is going to lead off with this Gyarados, which is a water and flying type, not a dragon, but it does look like a dragon. That's on level 58. So, we have Cheesy here that's lost about 35 PP, or HP, not PP. Wow. Uh, we're going to go for a Thunderbolt, and this should be a winning KO. It is quad effective. And our uh, Raichu does a pretty good special attack, so that gets taken out one hit as expected. And his next Pokemon is going to be his Dragonair, which is a Dragon-type Pokemon, obviously. So let's go to Sapphire, who does have the move Ice Beam, which can totally destroy Dragon-types. And we'll see if it's able to destroy this Dragonair. So Dragonair is on level 56. Again, we're going to go for a uh, Ice Beam. I almost clicked Hydro Pump there, but I clicked Ice Beam in the nick of time. And Ice Beam is going to take out that Dragonair in one hit. So... In Generation 1, because there's not a lot of Dragon-type moves, I think Dragon Rage is the only move, or yeah, Dragon Rage is like the only Dragon-type move, and that almost does 40. Uh, Ice-types are the only thing that can take on uh, Dragon-types, or Ice-type moves. So we'll go for an Ice Beam, and it should take it out. It took out the last one, and it does, so there we go. Second Dragonair take it out, and we are walking through lands. So this next Pokemon is Aerodactyl, that is a very, very fast Pokemon. And what we're going to do is go to Cheesy. I expect this thing to go for a uh, Hyper Beam or something because that is its main move. So, it's on level 60. We are going to go for a Thunderbolt. I won't outspeed because this thing is ridiculously fast. And it's used Takedown, which is doing a lot of damage. But I think a Thunderbolt will take it out because Aerodactyl is none of the best special and stuff. And we should be able to take it out from there. Yes, we do. All right. So, down goes Aerodactyl. And Lance's final Pokemon is going to be his signature Dragonite. In uh, Gold and Silver and Crystal, he has three Dragonites, as opposed to two Dragonairs and a Dragonite. But what we're going to do is go out to Sapphire once again, and this battle is pretty much all wrapped up. Dragonite is a Dragon and Flying type, and is quad weak to Ice-type moves. So, we're going to go for an Ice Beam, and he goes for Agility to increase his speed, which didn't matter, he already outsped me and most of my team. And an Ice Beam is going to finish it off from there. So... That is Lance, I think that is the quickest Elite Four member we've done so far, and he's meant to be the hardest. So yeah, that's uh, pretty sweet if you have your best Pokemon, or if you know your way around Lance, then you're going to totally demolish him. I can't believe my dragons lost to used to. You are now the Pokemon League Champion, or you would have been, but you've one more challenge ahead. You have to face another trainer. His name is Sims. He beat the Elite Four before you. He's the real Pokemon League Champion. So, it has come down to this. The rival we faced off at the start of our journey with his Charmander and all our Bulbasaur is now standing in the next room as the Pokemon League Champion. In the next episode of Pokemon Red Version, we are going to take him on. So, with all that said and done, I would like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys for more shortly enough. So, catch you then.